In this video, I'm going to show you four free PDF text editors that are available online. A text editor is a program which first extracts the text from PDF file and then allow us to edit or modify that text. Because normally PDF files are non-editable. The PDF text editor extracts this text from a PDF file by using a technique called OCR, Optical Character Recognition. But we are not going into that detail. We just want to edit our PDF document. However, normally what happens is that we not only want to edit our text in a PDF file, we also want to perform some other actions. And these online PDF editors, they differ in various features which they allow you to use freely. Otherwise, nowadays you can extract text from a PDF file by using Google Docs or Microsoft Word. Therefore, I have not arranged these PDF text editors in any order from best to worst or worst to best. It depends on your own requirement. I'm just going to elaborate some of the features they offer for free and then you decide which one is best for you. Now, here are some of the editing activities that we want to perform on a PDF editor in addition to text editing. The first feature normally we need is whether or not you want to flatten the PDF once you have edited. This is because once we have edited the file, we don't want someone to further edit the same file. In other words, we want to preserve the changes. In that case, we might want to flatten our PDF as well. The next important thing for us is how many free PDF documents we want to edit on per hour basis because there are some limitations on this number. Then it is also important that sometimes we want to have a desktop version instead of the online version of the PDF editor. Some of these programs also offer a desktop version, but not all. Now, this is one which I prefer. I normally want to use a free program that also has a paid version because for me, it indicates that the program will be stable because it also has a paid version, which company might want to sell. But this is just my own preference. I just wanted to mention here. With reference to the previous point, some of us might prefer a perpetual license. And not many companies are offering perpetual licenses where you just have to pay once. And normally the fees is between 20 to $50. You just pay once and then you get that PDF editor for the lifetime. Because most companies, they have a monthly subscription. So this is another important point to consider. Now, what I'm going to do is I have one PDF file. And this PDF file was created in LaTeX. Then I have this scanned document, which is an image, basically JPEG. And then I have converted this JPEG into a PDF as well. So we are going to test four online PDF text editors. So our purpose is to check mainly the edit function. And I'm not going to check many functions for all of these PDF editors, but I'm going to show you a way to select the best online PDF text editor. So the first PDF editor I'm going to check is Sajda. This is one of my favorites as I have already mentioned in other videos, but let's see how this performs against some other online PDF editors. So I click on all tools and then I click on edit and now I upload my file because PDF file is selected so I can only see the PDF files and not the JPEG images. So first I am going to see whether it detects my text in this PDF which is a proper PDF and this PDF is not proper PDF because this PDF is just a conversion from JPEG to PDF. So therefore I first click on that and I click on open and now when I hover over this text I can see that there is a rectangle appearing around the text. And if I click inside, I can edit this text. As you can see that I can remove any character and I can add. And if you look at this PDF, there is an image and there is some text inside the image. I can also edit that text as well. So the PDF editor has properly detected my text and images which I can edit. And this is an image. This is not the text. So therefore, if I hover over there, there is no rectangle here. Then this is the body of the document. And if I click here, I can edit this text as well. As you can see that as I am hovering over the text lines, 
all the text is editable. So Sajda has performed very well as far as PDF text editing is concerned. The last thing I would like to mention is that if you scroll down, you can see that we have a desktop version of Sajda also available. Now this PDF editor allows you three PDF editings per hour. So this is one thing to consider. Now let's move on to the next one. I close this one and the next one I want to show you is PDF to go another very popular PDF editor. It has a similar interface and now first check edit PDF feature. So I click on edit PDF and I choose the same file and now when I hover over this text I don't see any detection. If I click nothing happens and I have selected the pen I move this a little bit. I can try other tools like pencil, nothing happens. I can draw here, but I cannot select any text. Even if I select text, now a text box will appear. So basically this PDF editor is unable to even detect the text in my proper PDF file. So the reason could be that this might not be a free feature in this because sometimes it is not possible for you to see immediately whether this feature is not available at all or it is not a free feature. So this is one of the issues with these online PDF editors. If I click on these pages, I can scroll down. I can click on any other page. I can zoom in a little bit, but still I cannot select any text, whatever tool I may use. It is not possible. Now let us check one more feature in this PDF editor and I'm sure that works very well in PDF to go. And that is PDF to text. Now I came back to the home page and this time I'm going to check PDF to text feature. So I click on that. I select the file and this time I'm going to select this PDF file and click open. And now I click on start. I will see this processing and now my converted file is ready. So I click on download and then I click on open. And when I compare this with my PDF, I would say that this is not 100% correct, but most of the text has been extracted. But this is by no means a good text extraction from a PDF file. Now let me try text extraction from the image file. So I close this, go back and I use the same tool, but this time I select this image file, start and download this uh, once again. So I make sure that this is the file. Now I open and to my surprise, this time text extraction from this scanned document was almost 100% correct. So let me scroll down. So if I scroll down, I can see that even the footer of the document is also correct. Let me show you this document and if I zoom in, as you can see that this is the footer of the original scan document while this is the footer of the extracted text from this image. So PDF to go is doing a great job when extracting text from a JPEG file, which is fantastic. So that's why I said that it depends on what you want to do with these PDF editors. You cannot say this one is best and this one is worst. It depends on your requirement. Let me close this and the next one is I love PDF. This is the next one I want to show you. It has a very beautiful user interface. Again, our main purpose is to check the edit feature. So I click on edit PDF, select my file, the perfect PDF file. When I say perfect, it means all the layers on this files are intact. I have not flattened this file. This is the original file I created in LaTeX. And again, this text has not been detected. If I click here, I cannot detect any text on any of these pages. There is no text extraction from a very fine PDF file. So again, it could be a paid feature. I'm not sure about that, but definitely this feature is not available in free version of I love PDF. If I click on this add text, I can add text just like that, but I cannot detect the original text. So again, not what we are looking for, but if you look at this, I love PDF, it also has a desktop version. And I think that you cannot flatten PDF in I love PDF. You can flatten PDF in Sajda. And now the last one I would like to show you is PDF filler. This is another online PDF editor. 
and I am on their website. So I select from my device. I select that PDF and look at that. Again, we can edit this text. If I double click here, I can delete and I can retype this. All the text is editable. As you can see that I am able to edit all my text, which is fantastic. And now let me go into the body of the text. And as I hover over these lines, all the text is perfectly editable. So PDF filler, just like Sajda, is another fantastic PDF text editor available online. And if you want to make changes, you can do that and then you click on done. It will show you this processing for some time and then your changes will be saved. And then it will give you a lot of option what you want to do with this document, which is a fantastic user interface. So I really like how PDF filler works. You can save this document as PDF, as a Word document, as an Excel document or as a PowerPoint document, which looks fantastic. So PDF filler proved to be very good PDF editor. And in the similar manner, you can check some other conversions from PDF to JPEG, JPEG to PDF, PDF to Word. And if for some reasons, edit PDF does not work for you, you might want to convert PDF to Word. Because if the editor converts PDF to Word, then you can edit in Word and save as PDF. So this is a workaround. But among these four, I think only sajda.com allows you to flatten the PDF. And if you want to learn about why you should flatten and how to flatten, I have already made a video for that. You can just click on this thumbnail which is showing up at the end of this video and you will learn how to flatten a PDF. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.